Hello there, today we are going to learn how to forecast precipitations using machine learning. So the first thing that you have to know is that this is just an explanation about how it works and how it is possible, but uh, we are not going to go in deep on that. So just uh, for you to know that this is not going to be like useful or super useful if you want to have something that you can recreate it, like directly recreate. And in fact, I don't think that that's, that's even possible uh, here in this forecasting because it really depends on your data and you cannot just copy paste something or just run one notebook and that's not gonna have a YouTube result for sure. So another thing that you need to know is that we are gonna use historical data. Uh, well, in general, we are gonna use precipitation data from the government of Canada, uh, but yeah. So this is not like that much important for you. The only thing that you need to know is that uh, we are gonna first uh, download this data and then we will check which are the columns and which can be interesting for us to forecast those data. Then we will select the important ones and we will reduce the data set so we can use the data set as um, uh, to create our model. So that's gonna be the, the next step but for, like before that we will have to manage the empty spaces inside the data set then we will create the model and finally we will check the quality so once that i said that we can start we need import request as we are gonna be having uh, to get the this data from the canada government then we need to import pandas because we need to manage uh, data frames and then we will import numpy as mp because we need to manage arrays in order to create a model. So we run this and we are gonna create a request. So for the URL, we are gonna get this data. Uh, you can just copy that. So we are getting data in CSV file from this year. Uh, that should be fine for you. Then uh, second step here is that we need to create a request itself. So r is equal to request mm, dot get, and here we are gonna add the URL, and we also need to allow redirects. Uh, I cannot speak and write at the same time. It seems like uh, we need to allow redirects because uh, when we download this data, when, if you do it like you copy this URL and you just download it, uh, you are gonna, um, it's gonna ask if you wanna save it somewhere. So we need to allow the redirects just to then open it. We are gonna save it with the name of pr.csv and we need to add also, uh, we are gonna write the content so if we run this part, uh, there is something missing here. Ah, okay, because uh, my bad. Here we go. So now it should be here and here it is. Next step, it's gonna be, as I said, let's check the column. So we need to create a data frame here, pandas, read csv uh, equal here, pandas csv and then we are gonna add here the name of the file so pr.csv mm -mm. okay so we run this and we have the the pr file and we can check the pr columns here so what can be interesting for us uh, for sure the total precipitation this is what we want to predict but we need also some variables that uh, let us uh, forecast, which is gonna be the prediction if we don't have the value, but we have the other attributes for you to understand it. So uh, what else it can be interesting? It can be interesting the month. It can be interesting maybe the day as well. And then uh, we are gonna also take the max temperature and the mean temperature which is over here. So let's create another data frame that's gonna be called PR reduce, like PR 
PRR and uh, we will create it here and as I said we are gonna take month we are gonna take uh, sorry it has to be separated with a comma it has to be also day then we will need uh, for sure the total precipitation we can even copy that so we will be sure that we are copying it right here we have the total precipitation as well and then as i said we are gonna copy the max and the mean temperature so which is the point here if you are gonna do this like kind of seriously uh, you need to run you can check which are the correlations between the columns like that means that you need to understand how the other variables like independent variables are explaining the dependent variable so it can be also done with research and so on but as i said here we just want to see a simple example so with this should be fine we have uh, we can even run it right so we have this uh, reduce uh, data frame just with these um, columns it should be fine then what else we need to do um, we should manage the um, empty spaces and so on but in this case we just want to check like something quick we are not gonna go in deep on that we can do other video just explaining how to do this in a proper way but just for you to understand we're gonna translate all the empty spaces uh, to value zero so we will not get error it's again not the best practice by far but we can do it here just to better understand uh, the process so now we shouldn't have any empty space and we can proceed with the creation of the model how we create a model so we need a train input which is gonna be everything but total precipitation so we need to transform everything to array np here's when we use the numpy by the way and we have this np array and then what we need is to get the data set that we have and we are gonna drop our um, precipitation so for you to understand we have the data set we remove the column of the precipitation in the train input because we are gonna use it as the train output so here we use the drop and we can just copy the total precipitation here and just paste it here so this is gonna be our train um, sorry our train input and we also need to select the axis which is gonna be axis 1 okay and then we need the train output that as I said it's gonna be just the um, the PRR and we're gonna select directly the column which is gonna be the same column so we can just paste what we have and this is gonna be our train input and our train output we will check that there is nothing wrong here no error so we can use the predictor and for the predictor and i forgot to import it in the first time but here we can do it uh, here it is so we are gonna use this uh, linear regression it's one of the simplest one but it will be enough for us to understand how it is working so predictor equal linear regression and then so here we're kind of creating the model and now we are gonna add the the feed where the x is the train input and then we are gonna add as e the train output so train
okay so here what we are gonna do is just like this split that we did just to add it in the um, in the model so the predictor okay there is something missing uh, ah, okay because it has to be uppercase I assume yeah so now this predictor is our model this is our linear regression model so what happens now that we can predict with it okay so dot predict right and what we have to do to predict so we need to pass to it like an array in this case a two-dimensional array as x uh, remember uppercase x and we need to pass it uh, well, it can be like uh, several arrays at the same time, but just for you to to see that, and we need to kind of replicate the same structure that we have in train input. So I'm gonna plot it just for you to know. See, we have here one that, if you remember, here it's gonna be the month. Then one is gonna be the day. Remember that we remove this one, and then max temperature and mean temperature. And based on this, uh, we're gonna do the predictions. So uh, we can create our array. Imagine that it's month three. Imagine that it's day 25. Then the temperature maximum it's like I don't know 19 degrees, and then the minimum it's gonna be five degrees. So we run this, and we're gonna have the result of the predictive value. What is happening here is that, as I said this prediction is gonna be really really bad because we are not taking anything in Dogon we are like taking uh, zeros where we shouldn't so it's gonna be a really bad prediction but I hope that you get uh, how it works and this is the way to create a model but it's not a good way so again if you feel that it is interesting I can just create a um, more in deep uh, video maybe splitting the, the parts so you can uh, recreate it and better understand all the process but hopefully this is helpful for you uh, nothing else Bye -bye.